Well, most people know scientists at the Van Andel Institute are taking huge strides in the fight against cancer and Parkinson's disease. But there's a new program launching, taking a deep dive into metabolism and the huge role it plays in our health. New at 7, Emily Leonard introduces us to the team breaking down the old adage, you are what you eat. When it comes to the mysteries of the human body, there's one thing we all have in common. We all eat, but what happens after that gets a lot more complicated. We're trying to distill what we eat, how it's processed, and how that contributes to our biology from a, from a very strong scientific background. Inside the walls of the Van Andel Institute, this team of scientists has come together to tackle metabolism, nutrition, and not only how it affects our health now, but how it will affect the next generation. I think metabolism was taken for granted as a long time as just being, you know, part of the body or part of the, the cell that runs in the background, creating energy, creating building blocks. Husband and wife Russell Jones and Connie Krasik moved from Canada to Grand Rapids to be a part of this project. Their background includes research on not only metabolism, but the immune system, cancer, and epigenetics. We're trying to better understand how our environmental choices, the food we eat, the air we breathe, the water we drink, impact on our health now and for future generations. What they know is that what we eat affects all of the organs in our body and that affects our health. Team member Heidi Lempadel is studying how the food choices parents make can affect their children. I'm doing uh, research uh, on Drosophila. That is fruit flies. The flies' generations are short, allowing research to move along faster. What happens inside these labs is a lot of what you would expect, test tubes and pipettes, but there's also a lot of collaboration, conversation, and questions. As we discover new things, this leads to new questions. In Grand Rapids, Emily Leonard, 24-Hour News 8.